Oh uh, no, welcome back to Match Day Live, it's me Dan back again, and this Saturday it's first versus second in the Premier League, it's Leicester City who are first, yes Leicester City are first, I can't believe it myself, and against Manchester United who are second obviously, um, so this is the team I'm going for, I've gone for Marshall up front, Young on the left, Matter just behind Marshall, Lingard on the right, Schweinsteiger Schneidlin in midfield, then Rojo, Blind, Smalling and Damien. So let's play match. Yeah, so Manchester United have to face Leicester City this Saturday. Uh, it's the evening game, I believe, isn't it? Yeah. Um, it's going to be quite a tough game for Man United, let's just say that. But we have two things to talk about first. Uh... Obviously, we've got the uh, the previous game, which was against Watford, where we just just won, and then we've also got um, the Champions League game from last night to talk about, which uh, yeah, <laughs> we'll talk about that in a minute. But first we'll talk about the game against Watford. We won 2-1. Um, first half, we was all over them. Dominant. We should have had more goals than we should, should have done. Matter. There we go. Tramp, dip, bar. Well, that'll do. So, yeah. Manchester United, 1-2-1. Um, first goal was pretty good. Crossing the pie. Up, yeah. Plus it was the Lingard and Depay up front. It was much a different system that I actually liked where we had wingers up front. We had a bit of pace up front with Lingard who's making runs behind. Where uh, Depay had like uh, his foot. Like I think he had a really good game I think. Marshall? Oh, unlucky. Um, yeah, just because Rooney and Marshall was injured. Um, well, the only bad thing about that game, Herrera got injured. Um, Herrera, yeah, Herrera got injured, and we also lost uh, Phil Jones as well. So we've now got quite a few players out. So we've got Valencia, Luke Shaw, um, Jones. Oh my God! What the hell was that? Uh, who? Oh shit! Yeah, we had. We've got. We've got Jones, Valencia, Luke Shaw. Uh, Carrick out, and I believe it's Herrera. Yeah. Right, I didn't say Herrera twice, did I? <laughs> I'm not too sure. But we, I know we've got five people out. Um, it's a pretty good. Yeah. So we, first half dominant. We were pretty dominant. Basically, we could have, we could have, we could have scored at least two or three goals in the first half, but we couldn't. Uh, fortunately enough. Oh, Matter almost with a second. Um, fortunately enough, he we did win. Uh, we did give a penalty away. It was a stupid tackle from Matt, um, Rojo because uh, Watford in the second half did get like their momentum back in their favour. And how the fuck did I just hit the post? Matter, there we go. Two one, two nil. Um, so. It's going to be, I thought, coming into the Champions League, I thought it's going to be quite an interesting match, uh, just because we only just won by Troy Deeney on goal. Um, you could have said it was a Schweinsteiger goal, but rather say a Troy Deeney on goal, just because it was. Um, so there's that. Uh, yeah, so I went into the Champions League thinking we can easily beat um, we can easily beat PSV, but unfortunately yet again, where this passing side to side, uh, nothing's happening. We had plenty of chances in the first half. All right, the keeper did save. We had a few shots on target in the first half. First half we dominant, completely dominated PSV. Second half, PSV just came out and actually knew, thinking we could win this game easily. Because just where it, it's just where Man United looks shattered. I don't know what it was. Where they're probably not used to it. That's offside. 
Um, yeah, this is where Man United just, it looks shattered. I don't know why it was. It, it, we look like a like a t like a bottom league, uh, like a. I don't know where we just got run ragged or. The fitness levels of our players just couldn't keep up with PSVs. I, I just could. I just don't know. But it's it was very frustrating to watch as well. Where we could have scored in that first half, where we had plenty, plenty, plenty of chances to score, especially uh, Marshall and Depay as well. Uh, no, uh, Marshall. Who is? It? Yeah, it was Marshall and Lingard. Yeah, it's just Marshall and Lingard who had the chances, I think. Um, we had so many chances, and then second half of that game, we just completely lost it. We just didn't, just didn't, we just didn't show that what we wanted to win the game. Not, not like Saturday, where uh, Watford scored, and then Watford scored a penalty, and then we went at straight back at them with like full force, and then we just switched it into like this gear, which. We never heard of, and then yet again, we didn't switch into this gear last night where we should have done. Second half, I was thinking, all right, we should win this game easily. Anyway, so there's half time, currently winning uh, 2 0. Yeah, so we should have won that, should have won that game easily, but fortunately enough, we had David De Gea in net as well. Uh, PSV didn't really. Uh, they had a couple of chances, but they didn't really test De Gea. Um, I think it'll be quite an interesting game next in the next game, which is against Wolfsburg in the Champions League at Wolfsburg, where they've never lost at home. So they haven't lost at home for quite a while. So it'll be quite an interesting challenge for Man United. We definitely got to win just this qualify for the next round if we don't qualify I really will be I'll be I'll, I'll be pissed I'll be very pissed I think if I was Louis van Gaal I'll be pissed with our players um well uh, it's just it's just really disappointing Snydling last night was very disappointing and yeah but anyway so this weekend uh, Man United faced Leicester City and Leicester City facing Swansea City away from Leicester are the informed team at the moment just because of that man Jamie Vardy. Uh, without Jamie Vardy they wouldn't be very good I don't think. <laughs> just because Jamie Vardy's like this year's Harry Kane I believe. Uh, the last year's Harry Kane where Harry Kane was like scoring for fun and then Jamie that's offside and then but that, yeah it's basically doing a Harry Kane this year. Um, I mean, he broke uh, Van Nistelrooy's record at the weekend with a goal. So I think he scored nine in nine, I believe. And then I think he's got to score the next one to actually break it. Um, so uh, yeah, so we faced Leicester, an informed side Leicester at Leicester. Uh, I believe last season we drew nil nil. Was it? Oh no, uh, well, didn't. Oh yeah, Leicester won 5 3. Yeah, was it that? I don't know. I thought that was at Old Trafford. Maybe not. Uh, yeah, so we face Leicester, who are in form, and at home they're very, very dominant. Um, they rarely lost to. I think they lost to Man City at home, but. Um, it'd be quite a good game to watch, I think. It's on Saturday night, so I'll be able to watch it. Um, It'd be just we've got like the one of the best defence in the league at the moment, but at the moment we're not scoring. So that's why I actually dropped Rooney uh, for this match in my team lineup, just because he he's not. Last night he just I I have to agree with Roy Keane. He's not he's not he doesn't look like he wants to play for us anymore. Do you know what I mean? He I know he's our captain, but he didn't show he got deeper and deeper and deeper it's like we don't need him there do you know what I mean it's like uh, I, mean, I just got annoyed so I think Mata should have came I think he should have brought Mata on for Rooney I think and then at half time or something like that and well I don't know it'd be quite interesting um, oh, I thought the, uh, Vardy was going to get that um, 
Yeah, so like, like, like I say, Leicester themselves are in form at the moment. They are first in the table, um, just because they they are they've basically got a goal scorer. That is all their. They've got a good side. I think they've got well. The, the defense is a bit. I mean, they drew against Watford, so they they do have a like a they do have a weird defense at the moment. Um, with I think they got Hoof in net. Uh, not Hoof. They've got Casper Schneichel in net as well. It'd be quite an interesting game to watch, but um, is a it's a must win for Manchester United. I think if we win at Leicester, I think we can progress on through the. December period and hopefully yeah just hopefully but, uh, hopefully we can do it but there's full time I've won 2-0 um, I think Man United can just nick it but I think it'll be I think it'll be a 1-0 win I think that'll be it or because I don't if we can keep Vardy out, I don't think Leicester can score themselves. So, well, unless you've got Mahrez, but I, th I don't think Leicester City can score without Vardy scoring. Do you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go with 1-0 Manchester United just because of the fact we, I think we can easily keep out Vardy with De Gea in that. So, please like, comment and subscribe and don't forget to leave your score predictions below and I'll see you guys next time. So, right, I'm going. Bye.